So hi, Matthias, how are you doing? Oh, fine, thanks. Welcome on stage. So Dr. Matthias Schultz is with uh, Fraunhofer IKTS, and uh, he'll be telling us about sodium beta alumina electrolytes for sodium-based battery technologies. Sounds so complicated. Ready, <laughs> it does indeed, at least to me. So when you're ready, please, uh, yeah, please share your slides. All right. Okay, first of all, uh, I would like to wish you a brilliant afternoon. So uh, thanks for having me here and for, for giving me the chance to give you an, an insight into R&D activities that are currently running in my department. Um, so yes, my name is Matthias. I'm head of the department stationary energy storage at the Fraunhofer Institute for Ceramic Technologies and Systems. And yes, my team is developing um, sodium-based batteries that have somehow a ceramic heart inside that is made of sodium beta alumina. This is a sodium ion conductor comparable to the material that was presented from the colleague before this presentation. All right. Um, this is the, the agenda of my presentation. I will yeah, give you a short overview about my institute, about the Fraunhofer IKTS. And then I will um, tell you, a few, I will use a few words about my department and I will explain you the motivation. Why are we doing or reconducting R&D related to sodium batteries for energy storage? Um, then I will focus on, on one technology, on the so-called sodium nickel chloride batteries. You might know it as zebra battery or salt battery. This is an, yeah, I call it old school sodium battery technology, but it has pretty high potential for stationary energy storage applications. And I will show you how it works and why do we need a ceramic solid electrolyte for this technology. And last but not least, I will give you an example of a very successful development that we almost finished and we reached a very high technical maturity level. And I will show you an example about a commercialization of a, of a product that is currently running together with a company. All right. Um, yes, Fraunhofer IKTS belongs to the Fraunhofer Association, and we are in total, as I remember, about 76 or uh, Fraunhofer Institutes located all over Germany. And Fraunhofer IKTS is one of the biggest. These numbers that you can see on this slide are from 2022. In 2022, we had around roughly uh, 800 employees. Yes, we had scientists, PhD um, students, employees with university degrees and technicians, students, trainees, and so on. So we are a big institute uh, with an overall budget of roughly 80 million euros in 2022. You can see that we uh, are doing uh, contract research directly financed by industry. We have uh, roughly 20 million euros revenues in 2022. Then we have, of course, public funded projects uh, with a budget of around 40 million euros. Then we have some money from the EU. And of course, we have an in institutional support that directly comes from the, from the federal government of, of Germany. So it's my institute is the name of my institute is Institute for Technical uh, Ceramics, of course. And what we are doing is a research that is related to technical ceramics. OK, what we not developing is uh, tableware, of course. So everything, all the colleagues, the 800 colleagues are somehow working in the field of technical ceramics. And we have uh, several business divisions that you can see in this transparency here. Uh, I will just name a few ones. We have uh, an environmental and process engineering. We have water treatment. This means water, wastewater treatment, if, um, purification process and something like this. Then we have uh, biomedical technology, which means colleagues are developing um, implants, for instance, for, for hips or teeth. And we are have some activities related to non-destructive testing. And my department is located here, and this is red marked, and the department or in the business division energy. And this department is one of the biggest, where IKTS is developing, for instance, solid oxide fuel cell technologies, lithium ion technologies, and of course, sodium-based battery technologies. So my department is mm, pretty young. It was founded last year. And altogether, we are 20 colleagues. Um, we have technicians, of course, scientists, PhD students, and students. Um, and we have everything that is 
required that you need to develop new batteries or new energy storage.